Hello everyone. Today I'm back with another product review. This time it's the GemCam. The people at GemCam Technology Limited sent me this product directly for review. The link to their website is in the description box below if you want to have a look at who they are. Uh, the GemCam is basically a gemstone and diamond photography kit. It works with your smartphone or your tablet and the goal is to give you great looking pictures of your gemstones every single time. The gem cam comes in this really nice carrying case. Uh, as you can see, everything fits in here really securely. Nothing's going to be rattling around if you decide to travel with it. We've got up in the top pocket a free chamois for cleaning any of the lenses. I'm sure you could use it for gemstones too. And then just a copy of the warranty as well. This here is the main body of the cam. This is going to be where you put your stones that you're going to be taking pictures of. Next to it is a piece that will hold the gemstones for you so everything can become hands-free. Next to that is a platform for your smartphone or tablet. And then of course we have a USB charging cable. This is a fun piece in that it has rechargeable batteries so you don't have to change any batteries out. So let's get out all the pieces and put it together. So as I said, this is the main body of the gem cam. There is a built-in 10 power corrected loop here on the top. And inside, they have built-in lighting from both above and below. On the back, there are control buttons as well as the plugins. GemCam has rechargeable batteries, but you can also use it wirelessly. Uh, it also has a port that you can charge your phone from, or you can use your phone cable to actually charge the device as well. The control buttons start right here with the lower lighting. You can turn it on and see that the lower light illuminates. The next button is for the overhead lighting. You can see overhead in various brightnesses. The next buttons are for rotation, which is a really fun feature with this. So this button is for manual rotation. It's slower and it's great if you're looking for a specific point of interest or an angle for a photo. You can hear and it stops every time I release. Next is the automatic 360. It moves faster, but it is good for showing off the stone, especially if you have a client right in front of you and you just want to spin it. So you can hear that it's still spinning. Moving on. This is a piece of thick, heavyweight silicon. It just unfolds and then it fits right into the slots right here. It's non-slip and it's large enough for any of the smartphones on the market. It's also made to accommodate tablets that are comparable in size to the iPad mini. This is my Nexus tablet and you can see that it fits on here just fine. Absolutely no issues with size. So next up we have this piece here. This is what you use to hold your stones. Um, and it, it makes the experience mostly hands free which is wonderful if you have slightly shaky hands. You simply depress this button right here and then the stone goes in between these two soft silicone clamps and when you let it go it holds them firmly. This entire piece is then inserted into the side of the device and you want to make sure it's all the way in so that the piece meets its mate on this side and that's what allows for that rotating function this piece right here now that we've got the gem cam set up let's take a look at some gemstones so I found that the easiest way to actually pick up the gemstones with the clamp arm is to put them table side down on a flat surface. So you want that large facet on the top of your stone face down. And then you can simply place the arm right over top of it, line up those clamps, and then slowly release. And you get a nice even clamp on there every single time. If you have a stone with an uneven top, I would suggest doing it on a slightly cushier surface just so you can get a better grip on it and it's not rolling around everywhere. So you want to make sure your lights are turned on or you're not going to see anything. And then you simply slide the piece into the side 
just like before. Make sure you do it nice and firm so that it hits that back. And then you're just going to open up your phone to your camera or your video. Make sure that you line it up with the lens. And there you go. We can zoom in, tap to focus, take a picture. If you don't like this overhead lighting, you can go ahead and adjust that. Make it brighter, make it dimmer. You can change the lighting beneath the stone as well. You create a dark field if you want. And then the next function, if you want to take a video of the stone, say you're going to show it to a client or you just want to get just that right angle so you can show some damage to a stone. Slow rotation. And we can take a video, we can take a photo, whatever you need to do. And then if you want the automatic rotation, button right next to it, hands off, and it does its thing. And we're going to bring it right around back to front. It's worth mentioning that the stone holder can accommodate diamonds up to approximately 14 carats. Um, I wanted to give you a visual on that, but unfortunately I don't have a 14 carat diamond on me. So we're going to have to make do with an 11 by 9 ametrine. I also thought it would be nice to take a look at how it handles color. So we're just going to pop that in there. Slide it right in the side. And there you go. You can see that the depth of field is good. We can see the entire stone, no problem. Once again, if we want to adjust the lighting, we can adjust the lighting. We can still rotate really nicely. So that fits in there just fine. So since I'm an appraiser, I had to see if I could stretch the gem cam to work with jewelry as well. And what I found was that if the piece of jewelry is short, for example, the smaller size ring, you can actually just fit it right in between the two clamps here. And then it'll slide in there with no problem. If it's too long, if it extends over the top too much or extends down below this bottom piece, it's just going to get caught as soon as you try to insert it. But as you can see, that works just fine. We can go ahead and zoom in on our piece of jewelry and get some nice close-ups. Now we have to remember that just because we're using a loop lens here, there will be a depth of field issue, so you want to take that into account when you're positioning. One thing you cannot do <laughs> if you're using a piece like a ring is rotate inside. If you rotate, bad things will happen, trust me. But ultimately, I got some beautiful, beautiful photos of jewelry, but in the cases of a piece maybe being a little bit too long, I simply put this stone holder next to it, and then I took my piece of jewelry in my tweezers, used the stone holder to steady my hand, and slid it right into the chamber. I was then able to just tap and get a beautiful photo. Ultimately, I'd say that this gem cam actually does work well for jewelry and it's kind of a shame that it's only marketed towards gemstones. But as long as you're willing to get creative, you can get some absolutely fantastic shots I was even able to get pictures inside of the ring shank of the carrot markers as well as make it maker's marks. And I found that the colors for the gemstones were true every single time. I should also mention that GemCam has an app if you'd like to take photos or videos using that. And in order to do that, you just simply download the app. It's available on both iOS and Android. And then you open it and you can choose between photo or video. 
It functions just like the camera on your phone. They do have included a slide bar here for brightness and another slide bar for focus. Once you've taken your image, you can move into this section where you can rotate, you can crop to any number of sizes. Once you're done, you simply push done. And then you can save the image, send a text message, send an email, whatever you want to do. I personally did not use the app to capture the images or video that I took of stones and jewelry because I found that it was much more convenient to just use what was already available with my phone. However, in the future, they are planning on an update to the app that will allow users to add information to the photos, such as cut cl color and clarity grades, any sort of certificate information, as well as your business name. And then ultimately, all of these images could be stored in a library. But as I said, right now it just doesn't make much sense to open up an app when I can simply slide and open my camera. So the ultimate question is whether or not the gem cam is worth it. The gem cam has a bigger price point than other photo kits that I've tried in the past. It comes in at $599, so it's definitely an investment. That being said, it's also the Rolls Royce of the photo kits that I've used. The quality of the materials is much better. The loop is fully integrated, so it has a lot less chance of coming loose. The lighting is much more dynamic. And the addition of the hands-free stone holder, as well as the rotation, makes it incredibly convenient and dynamic. I also really appreciate that you can plug it in or use uh, the rechargeable battery. That means that you're not changing batteries as often as you are with a lot of other gem cams. The gem cam basically comes down to the fact that you're going to get a beautiful picture every single time. It's portable, it's user friendly, and it's incredibly convenient. So what do you think? Would this find a home in your business or your briefcase? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to read more product reviews, as well as jewelry and gemstone information, there's always more on my website, and you can find the link to that and all my other social media in the description box below.